I figured out finally how to make um, local notifications work when the application is being used. Um, um, there are a number of things that need to happen. Um, there is some documentation in the in the um, um, uh, 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 local notifications plugin, and that is what I was going by. Basically, the the if you guys look at the um, uh, the the Flutter local notifications plugin, um, it gets you almost all the way. But when it it gets into um, uh, if you if you search in this document, so this is obviously the plugin documentation for Flutter local notifications, and that's what I I used in other videos when I showed how to make local notifications work. Um, if you search in this document for foreground, um, you will you will find some documentation here. Most of this you have to read this really carefully because most of what you see here is not relevant to almost any application you're going to work on because it's relevant to app uh, to phones older than version 10 of the iPhone. So this is for old stuff. And uh, what it does, it, 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 it has a passing, uh, it, it, it does a passing mention of, um, of, 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 of uh, newer phones and it just says um, I think I'm, I'm just looking for here it says something like it, you control it with the presentation options so for iPhone for iOS 10 plus use the presentation options to control the behavior for when a notification is triggered while the app is in the foreground so that's pretty big um, so most of uh, the detail you see here is actually not relevant to to any modern phone. So I started looking at what those presentation options might be, and then um, uh, I, I I I found on a number of things like here when I was going down here, um, there's that there's one thing that you can when you can when you ask for permission. You can ask for um, um, let's see, badge is one of them. Badge, 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 badge. Yes. So when you ask for in 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 the initialization, when you ask for this permission, this is one place uh, um, where you can you can say true, and which is something I did already. So if I go into my um, uh, my uh, uh, notifications uh, config configuration, I'm asking, I'm I'm setting this to true. It still wasn't working. Um, and then I was as I was doing some more digging, and it turns out that the the key part here, and and a Flutter lo uh, local notifications plugin might do some of this. Uh, um, out of the box, it wasn't doing it for me. So uh, I, I, I was digging deeper what actually makes the difference. And it's the Apple delegate, the, the app delegate, um, sorry, the app delegate Swift file has to be set up properly. And this is a key uh, component here. This, this, uh, so what, what, what this uh, um, um, uh, Swift file has to do it sets the delegate to self like this and this function has to be there has to be implemented and uh, uh, here I, I believe this is the, the the part that that tells the the environment that you want to get those notifications and now there's uh, there is mention of there's there's a mention of this um, there's a mention of this in um, if you, if you search for delegate here, app delegate. There's a mention of this that uh, that you need to uh, uh, set this up, but um, it just it it, uh, um, it wasn't enough for me. Let me see if there is yes I, this is what i was looking for so um 
so he, he here's that mention but this did do it for me i had to do it like um i had to do it like what i showed um which is implementing that function at any rate i'm really glad that it's working um you might you guys might be able to get away with it without uh, uh this level of modification of the file um maybe the plugin uh, can also do this but the the main point here is that it works now and um, i can see my notifications okay so let's see um uh let's see if this really does work so i'm gonna go into my app and what i actually did this already um but i just want to make sure I, I did it so okay i schedule the time and now i'm gonna schedule um i'm gonna schedule for for 7 15 i want to get a notification so for 7 15 i want to get a notification i say update um and i'm using the app so the app is in the foreground and now let's wait and let's see if we get a notification. We don't. What? Beautiful. That's exactly what I was looking for. I wasn't sure if it was going to work in the simulator because a lot of things don't work in the simulator. And sometimes it's notifications that don't work in the simulator. But it worked. Um, so I guess this takes care of this problem and this concludes my my um, um, research into how to make local notifications work. Now everything seems to work. Um, there are other issues still. The, the icons need to be prettier. Uh, you can put actions in, into these bubbles that show up. Uh, the, you can just make the interaction much better. And when a user uh, taps on them, it should take them to the appropriate screen and so on. And I might make videos about that, but these were just the critical pieces. Now they get the notifications. So, so the critical pieces are done. Um, if this content is helping you guys, please subscribe. Um, um, uh, say, I uh, make comments. Uh, um, um, uh, say something about what you liked about a video. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you have any questions or, or if something is clear, please ask questions. I'll be happy to answer. Um, and uh, uh, let me know what you think in general. I'm, I'm really happy how this turned out. It, it took a while to figure this out. So, so um, hopefully it will help you guys as much as it, you know, it helped me eventually now that I figured out how this all works. Thank you. Bye-bye.